Tom Freiburg from WWI Magazine and we're here at the EFAT show in Munich, Germany. I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Martin Smith, who is from Keller Holland. Good yeah. to see you, Martin. Hi, Tom. Nice so, to meet you. Uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, Martin, we last spoke to you in uh, the Netherlands, I think, in uh, the Aquatech show. That's right. And you talked through uh, some of your technology there. But what do you have in front of you here? Give us a, a kind of brief uh, uh, tour of that. Um, this is one of our sensors from the water line of sensors we have. This is a combined level sensor, temperature sensor and conductivity sensor. Um, we have a few versions of it. This one is just a sensor, Modbus compatible, digital output. Uh, we also have a version with a integrated data logger and both can be connected to our GSM2 modem data logger, which makes it possible to transfer the data wirelessly. Um, but this Modbus uh, version connects just to, uh, uh, it's a wired version, so you can connect it to a display, but also to uh, a PLC or whatever. And in terms of your target uh, market for this and actual applications, give us uh, some more information on that. Um, it's used, for example, to um, uh, measure the um, uh, salt percentage in freshwater. Um, for example, areas um, in the coast which have rivers coming out in um, uh, the sea. Uh, when it's high tide, uh, the seawater comes in and, and mix with the fresh water. Uh, can be important to know for um, uh, plants growing. Uh, farmers uh, need information about the salt percentage in the fresh water. Uh, also, uh, when you're measuring groundwater on uh, big depth, uh, you can have a salt element in it. Uh, in areas where millions of years ago there was a sea, um, you still have uh, salt beds, salt layers, very deep in the ground. Uh, also there you can have an influence in the groundwater. And that's where you measure the conductivity for it. And you mentioned uh, connectivity, yep. um, so I want to sort of um, talk about that now because behind us we have some data, yep. um, which is linking in again to a, a phrase we're hearing more of, which is the Internet of Things, yep. so smart appliances and technology. So talk to us about the uh, LoRa development you're working yep. on. Yep. What you see here is uh, data coming uh, right from a modified manometer, which is now a prototype, but will be available uh, commercially, I think, within three or four months. <coughs> It's a modified manometer, and it provides data through um, the LoRa network. And the data you see here is coming from a manometer, a digital manometer, which is in Winterthur, Switzerland. And we are here in Munich, and we see here in Munich live data, almost live data, uh, from a digital manometer, which is in Switzerland. Very good. So you can see how quickly the data comes through between countries. So yeah. if you have it in the the, the monitor and the, the actual reading device in the same country, you'll yeah. see it's going to be even quicker. Yeah, it's even quicker and it's a, a very good cheap alternative for the more expensive GSM uh, network. And uh, besides that, um, the manometer distributes its data to the LoRa network, which means that as long as you have an internet connection, um, you can have the data all over the world. And speaking of the internet of things, you have a, um, a new website you'd like to tell everyone about? We have a new website. It's dedicated specially to uh, water. It's uh, called kellerh2o.com. Um, links to all the products we have, especially for the water world. But also um, mention some case studies, examples of how Keller equipment is applied um, throughout the world. Very good. Well, uh, Martin, thank you very much for your time here again and bring us up to date. And we wish yep. you the best of luck in rolling out these uh, technologies yep. and moving into the, uh, the Internet of Things um, with your development. So uh, thank you for your time. We will. Thank you so much, Tom. Cheers. Okay.